गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नेहा स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर पोएम ए टाइगर इन द जू इट इज रिटन बाय लैजली नॉरिस सो इट इज फ्रॉम योर बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट सो हेयर कंप्लीट वी हैव फाइव स्टैंडर्स फाइव स्टैंडर्स फाइव स्टैंडर्स इन द पोएम but uh, today in this video session we will discuss a uh, first two stanzas in detail and uh, i will introduce about this poem in detail so a tiger in the zoo it is a fine poem written by lazily norris actually what happened the natural habitat of a tiger is the jungle a tiger is the king of the jungle but when a tiger is caught and put into a cage it presents a very sad picture in the poem the poet has poet uh, lazily norris has put up a strong case for the preservation of the wild animals in their natural habitat so uh, first stanza we are going to discuss he stalks in his vivid strips the view steps of his cage on pads of velvet quite in his quite rage so first difficult word meaning stalks here stalks we can say follows what is follows he stalks in his vivid strips here vivid we can say a very bright clear color bright color strips jo tiger ke upar uska print hota hai tiger ka brown orange color ka those are strips on the tiger the few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quite here pads are paws of tiger paws of tiger and next in his velvet quite sorry in his quite rage rage here is anger so here velvet is soft uh, floor in which tiger was walking that was too soft that was of velvet so uh, line to line discussion he stalks in his vivid stripes here the tiger with his clear beautiful strips takes a few steps in his cage on his soft paws quite velvet feet in his silent anger so here we can also say the tiger with his beautiful strips moves about in his cage and he moves with quite rage on his soft velvet feet he does not seem happy in the zoo he was quite sad according to the poem so next stanza he should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole where pump deer pass so now in this uh, students we have a difficult words like lurking we can say hidden hidden as to wait for your prey so in this the poet says that if this tiger was free he would have hide himself behind the long grass sliding through long grass here is hiding 
in the long grass behind the long grass near the water bodies so that uh, tiger could easily catch a deer there was a uh, deer in order to have it as its food deer as its food basically the poet uh, in these four lines wants to say that the actual life of a tiger is to live in jungle where he could catch his prey and eat it but the tiger in the cage cannot do so so in this way we have uh, here a rhyming scheme also uh, poetic devices are also here in the whole poem like if we will discuss about the first stanza of rhyming scheme here is word strips cage quiet or rage here cage and rage producing same sounds and stripes and quiet are totally different so we will give stripes as a and cage as b and quiet as c and again rage as b cage and rage are producing same sounds and stripes and quiet are totally different so we are giving different names a and c so here is a b c b is the rhyming scheme of the first stanza so like in this way we will discuss all other uh, poetic devices and rhyming schemes and so on in the next next video session thank you students